is the Real Spill Podcast. And I'm your host, Mark Santana. And it's your girl, Terry. And it's your dog checking in. Where's Trav? You already know, man. Hey, we a little late today, you know what I'm saying? Real life, you have us running around. I was running around doing a lot of things, but, you know, yeah. we finna take a... We finna take a, a shot. We finna take a, a beginning shot. You know what I'm saying? And I want to toast. I want to toast to endurance, man. Endurance, man. Cause life without endurance, man, we all been have gave up a long time ago. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna toast to yeah. endurance. Yes, law. Endurance, man. All right. This that Taylor Port too. I'm it, drinking on the same shit I always do. To, actually, I'm drinking <laughs> on two things: Carolina and 1800. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, you a savage today. You truly a savage. Mm. It's tequila all around. Hey. <laughs> right, take shot. So, I said, I guess I'm going to take off first. But I always take off first. Man, what y'all feel about the girl with the brick situation? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> what y'all oh, feel yeah, about the girl with the brick let's, situation? Let's, you know, it's two, let's get into it. It's two sides to every story. That's how I feel. You know, it, that, okay. like, from the information That's I see, but I'm just saying. The situation was fucked up. Definitely, definitely. You, know, you should definitely. never, you should ever, you should never ever feel like you know, if you don't even like this person, you should assault them, even if they they don't want to give you their number, if they don't want to show you no play, you feel me, shit like that. But it's like, I was I was seeing what it's, um some videos where um she was slapping people in the face, talking about reparations. I seen I, I, the people say, oh it's a skit. I had seen something. The people were like, oh it's a skit. So I went and like started looking at a lot of her like videos she posts and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and she's yeah. Very disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, shit like she's that. She's very disrespectful, dog. So it's like I'm not trying to. Okay, what's the videos? Cause I didn't see. I ain't, like how she disrespectful. Like what? What? Like, like how like, she talked to people and how she carry herself. Yeah, it's like, like you see how she talked to people. She really like, like she look like if you try to holler at her and she don't want to holler at you, she'll say, she'll say some real hateful, evil shit to you. Just because yeah, she's like pussy like, ass nigga. Not like, like, probably, like, I think I think worse than that. I think because it's like she probably don't like men like that. How she be? I don't know. It's just how <laughs> she carrying herself in the video. It made me feel like really? man, oh. yeah. I ain't see one thing about. It, I ain't down playing it. Like she shouldn't have probably got hit with no brick. But it's like damn. Yeah. Okay. Can we can we lay that down? Regardless. Well, I ain't gonna say regardless because if she hit somebody with a brick, yeah, you gonna get hit with a brick. But it gotta be the same level. Like she definitely no man should be. Hitting you with a brick in your face, like I feel like that's nobody should be doing. Not I understand. Man, like, I, I, I definitely nobody understand should be that. Doing it. But I feel like you can't t- you can't tell people how to react. I don't know. I'm not saying it happened like this, but what if it would happen like this? What if it, she was like, oh, he was, he was like, oh, you ain't all that. She was like, your mama ain't all that. Then he probably said, my mama did. And she like, fuck your mama. No, a nigga gonna react. And the nigga ain't even gonna think about it. Real talk. A nigga gonna react. Nigga gonna be like, oh, what? If that's all that transpired, no, no, no. My I thing, still say that don't require no brick to the face. My thing is, should you put your life on the line to protect somebody that you that you might not know? Like, say, okay, you see a random person, like, okay, somebody do get assaulted, but is it your job to intervene? Or see, what? see, because you gonna put yourself it ain't in never your job. You put yourself it ain't in never your job. Is that listen? This is what I'm like trying to like it, trying to help what she got going. You can put yourself in danger. Facts, like everybody making it seem like oh, it's a whole bunch of men sitting around there and do nothing right. My thing is, bro. If I see two people going at it, I don't know if this is a couple or not. The last time I tried to break up some shit, bro, with a couple, the nigga ran. I helped the nigga get loose. The nigga yeah. got her loose. And you know what? Now, now, I'm, now I'm trying to avoid fighting his shit because she's trying to fight me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they was back together a day later. So that's when I learned to mind my motherfucking business, bro. I seen a story where a nigga died trying to help, help a female who was getting beat on by her nigga. Because he, he shot him and the buddy... Went to go help the lady. He put his kid, like he gave his kid to the to the um to his like wife or girlfriend to go intervene on what they had going on, and the dude shot him. <laughs> so the lady with her kid, she watched her husband die trying to help somebody. Yeah, see. I ain't gonna cap on that. I feel what y'all saying, and it ain't nobody's job to do it. Yeah. But for me, if if I have some type of conviction towards it, and I don't do nothing. I'm gonna feel bad walking away from the situation. Like I feel like I can it's gauge certain conscience. things, you know, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. like if I try to help, you say, "Man, bitch, watch out." I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna 
do too much. Yeah. I might call the car or get some some other type of professional help, but I'm gonna yeah. try. And if you don't want the help, then I'm gonna just I'm a, I'm out. I'm a bad bat. But yeah. I ain't gonna sit there and watch no female get beat on by no man and just man, I'm on my business. Like, no, nah, I can't do it. See, I can't do it. I can do it. I ain't gonna care. I can do it. But one thing about it, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. Todd, you gotta I'm, mind I'm, your business. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. Because it's a new society. Like, the people, the people pulling out guns for anything nowadays. Yeah. That's true. I go help that this girl. True. Now I'm dead and she alive. And That's my kids are yeah. all about me minding. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that then on the top That's of that, true. before yeah. I go out my way to take it to another level with another man like that, you you just coming in on the outside looking in. You don't know what this girl did to this man. Because girls do grimy shit too now. And the thing is, she still might I go fuck with him. She still might go fuck with him because that's, that's what true. she like. She probably like that aggressive, like that type of, you know. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like a, I, I ain't gonna. I know it's not all, but I ain't gonna lie. A lot of females love abusive men, bro. Yeah. And that's the most toxic shit in the world. But it's the facts. It's true. Yeah. Love abusive men. Yeah. It's not, it's not abusive. abusive yes. I feel like I don't deal with girl. I don't ran across girls. I feel like that wanted me to be abusive with them. Like manhandling. They were trying to provoke like, no, 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 me. No, 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 no. What? What? Oh, provoke? Okay, because I thought maybe... Okay, so nah, what you mean? Like, make cause you they, cause they, cause they done been Yes, because they done been in relationships like that. And I used to ask them, like, why why it lasted so long? Oh, I, I love them, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? But you be like, damn, that nigga done beat your ass in front of your mama and your daughter, and you still want to be with them? Like, that's weird to me. Yeah. But So I done have females that try to provoke me to put my hands on them. Females do that. I think they love toxic shit. Like, they yeah. love Facts. the argument. Yeah. They love... Facts. Facts. I, Toxic I relationship. I feel like some people love that. They do that love that. Me. Hell that nah. ain't for me. Hell nah. I got to beat y'all. That ain't Egypt. for me. Do you? Do yeah. You th- we, I feel like we too old now. Do like, you, you think- know, we above the 30 threshold. Like, ain't no way I'm going to be arguing, going, ain't. calling you out your name, like, trying so just to swing on say, you. I can't be rhyming for domestic violence, so I handle my, I stay my distance. It's two ways to beat the pussy up, but I'm about my business. Mm. You can beat it like with your fist, or you can beat it like this. Yeah. Which way? You, it's two ways to beat it up. Do, you, do you feel like Ike and Tina was like that toxic relationship? Yeah, yeah of course. Facts, but yes. really, but do you think? Yes. But do y'all think? This is the question you really gotta ask. Do you think that she would have got to the success she got without him beating her ass? I, I don't think she would have like got that. to that level. I, feel I ain't that, gonna count. No, I don't think. No way are y'all saying I'm that dead the abuse ass. got to her to where. She could have got because he was with pushing her. Supporting. She wanted to quit a lot of times. He was pushing and her in, in her music. And, and he could have pushed Jackson. her without punching her. Michael Jackson. He could have pushed her without punching yeah, he her. Yeah, he could have. He could have. He could have. But it's he did. Difference. He did it his way. Like he say, Michael Jackson. Like Michael Jackson. He used to beat his kids to get them right in line. And, and he could. Joe used to beat their ass. Joe used to beat their ass. He could have got them in line. He could have got them in line without. Abuse. But look what it turned to. It turned into greatness. And I don't know if he was beating the but girls. There's, there's, he probably was just there's beating many the boys. Way, there's many pathways to greatness. Many. Yeah, but they achieved it. Yeah, we once you achieve greatness, you ain't looking at the path no more. The path no but longer we, matters. But we looking at it. We talking about it. Yeah, I'm right. saying that they could have went a different way. Yeah. Man, I feel like I feel like. But shit. I mean, I respect the greatness because you definitely can't say nothing bad about Tina Turner or Michael Jackson. Well, yeah. some people might say some bad stuff about Michael Jackson. I don't feel I like don't. You, I don't feel like you can say nothing bad about Mike. I, ain't I don't feel like he did nothing to them kids. I don't either. Come on, bro. If he I did, really don't. You trying really to tell me he did stuff like that to kids and people kept bringing more kids to him? Mm. Come yeah, on, man. I really don't. They think never he had no DNA. No they kids. never had no physical evidence of anything. Only hearsay. It was only hearsay yeah. and lawsuits. Yeah, I don't feel like he did nothing to them kids, nah, but I know man. that's a real big thing. People feel real strongly. Oh, Michael did this and that, that, that. man, that man. I think you. I think he overly liked kids, and that, that's why he fathered kids that's not biologically his. I feel like he grew up too fast. He did. So maybe like that 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 inner child just never really went like he always fast. wanted to be. He that. never. He, so he never liked to be around kids. He Michael Jackson never had a childhood. <laughs> Basically, yeah, not for he, real. he had to work his whole, he never had a child. The most child he had when they moved to Cali, I believe, and they was able to play in the yard a little bit. Joel let them play for one day out of the yard. Like, they never really had a childhood. <laughs> That's why he idolized that, like that, what was it? Never, ever land, never, never land. Never, 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 never land. land. Made his own yeah. theme park. It was just always, he needed that imagination. He needed to be a kid. Yeah. And unfortunately. He ain't get a chance. He never got age. a chance to be. So he's yeah. saying, so he's saying you go work so hard where your child, you you don't even have a childhood. Like you go work. Michael Jackson did. You go work to the point where Michael you don't Jackson even have did. a childhood. Michael and Jackson. And you know what? Did. That brings up a really good point on how parents be really like 
Like when they put it I in ain't beauty, gonna try to say live pageants. through their kids. Beauty, but it's yeah. like you forcing your kids, forcing your do y'all feel like you'll force your kids so much to play a sport or play an instrument or do this or do that, like it's detrimental to their growth because you're like for <laughs> like do they even wanna play basketball? Yeah. Do they even See, wanna do that? Yeah. I feel like you should like I feel like you should push. Yeah. But not force. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, my daughter, like, my daughter played basketball. Mm -hmm. A lot of people yeah. feel like I don't want to make her play basketball. Hell no. I thought I would have been anything like a soccer dad or a cheer dad or anything like that. <laughs> Not soccer. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I always want to be a soccer dad. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't know why, but I always want to be a soccer dad. Real tall. I want to... That's why I'm about to put my six-year-old. Well, y'all just Haitian, so it's in her jeans. Facts. I'm about to put her in gymnastics, though, because she loves to do flips. She learned how to make herself do backflips. She can good at it. She can do a regular backflip when she just fall back and then flip her legs over. She can do a slow-motion backflip, bro. Wow. And she taught herself, teach herself. She get on YouTube. She got the little gymnastic thing I bought her for Christmas with the bar and stuff, with the man and stuff. So she'll be out on the balcony. Mm -hmm. She just on YouTube learning tricks. Yeah. Like, she's very good. And then she, like, super flexible. And I like that she stay like that, dog. So I got to get her in gymnastics. I think that's what I want to go her route. Because she loves to flip. That's her thing. That's so her thing. she come to you one day and say, Daddy, I don't want to do that no more. You good. You good to just cut it off. Yeah, she. I just I just hope she pick up something else. Because the idol So mind, you just want I, her to be involved in something. Yes, the I, I idol mind is the mm. devil's playground. I agree with you that. You know what I'm saying? And especially, I had at that age, especially at young ages. Right now, you can sponge her anything. You can make her have... I feel like... Yes. I feel like I ain't gonna lie. I feel like that's why I'm so like hands on with a lot of shit. Mm. Cause like my 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 I ain't gonna lie. My mama, bro. One thing I can say about her, bro. She never told me no. Even if I had to find my own way to get the money, I was always able to participate in any, bro. Like I played trump drums at church. Mm. I played in the drum line. Mm. I went from bass to tenor in one year. Mm. I went from ne the next two years in, and the next two wait the next two years in middle school. I was on snare. Snare ain't easy to play. And you know what's so crazy? I never even learned how to read music. Yeah. I just can hear it and remember it. Okay, Nick Cannon. I, was I swear to God. <laughs> man, I, man, I swear to God. Right now, I still remember one of the, I still remember like two of the cadences. When I'm in my work truck, I be doing it. I ain't even gonna count with you. Like, That's bro, crazy. I'm, like, like, I'm gonna show you right now, right I now. I never knew, I never knew you played. That's crazy. Man, I'm gonna show you right now. It go like this, it go like this, it go like this, it go like this. Not the nigga playing drums, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wow. Trav. Come on, man. Trav, just shake your head and lock. Hey, I'm just saying. Bro, bro, listen. <laughs> I learned how to play. Because when I got when I got on bass, I didn't know nothing about music. They were trying to teach me how to read it. I could not do that. So I just started listening to people doing it. And the bass was too easy. Then I started doing tenor. Tenor is basically just like the bass. It's just like mm -hmm. in a snare form. I started doing yeah. the tenor. Then I started getting raw with the tenor. I started learning how to do rolls with the tenor. Mm. So then I really want to do quad. I had learned quad before I learned snare, though, because my cousin was on quad, and he taught me quad. You feel me? Before oh, snare. snare. Yeah, the four. It's not. It's like basically four different styles. That seemed hard. Yeah. That seemed hard. You really doing drum but, rolls. Basically. Once you learn, you got to know how to drum roll to be able and to do a fillers. tenor. Tenor ain't hard. Fillers. It's all different sounds. One, two, three, four. That's how it is. One, the one right here. And it's two, and it's three, and it's four. Yeah. And once you know the numbers, it's easy as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I learned how to do it. I learned how all the cadences just by listening to them. Yeah. And I rememberize them. Yeah. I never learned. To this day, I don't know how to music, play music. I can play pianos and all, bro. That's why I be want to make beats sometimes. You can play piano? Yes. Damn. No, that's. I literally, that's on my bucket list. Bro, I can Before do a I lot. Die, I can do I a lot of shit. I want to play piano. Yeah. I can I do a lot of shit. Piano. I ain't, I ain't Beethoven, but I can play nice, a nice yeah. melody. Yeah. I can play yeah. nice melody off the head and anything like real talk. When I make my beats, I really make them by ear. Like I own, I don't never come to making beats like this is exactly how it's got to be done. Like I go in and I pick a sound and I, and it's like a vibe. And then I build from that, and it's like when I loop it, I just loop it with the drums. Do you do the drums first, or you do the melody first? I figure out the melody, cause it's like when you could do the drums, you could throw a bass line, or you could do eight of weights. See, I think that's why I be fucking up. Mm. I be trying to do the drum line first before yeah. I do the melody. But this the thing is, some people who already build a drum loop, and then they looking for a melody to put on top of it, cause it's really it's nothing but a loop. Like after you find like a loop when you when you loop the drums with the kick, the snare, and the hi hat, and the you know the, that that pattern. Yeah, that's when you throw the melody on. It's like you're trying to figure out a perfect melody so you could go with this song, basically. So now you're writing to it. Yeah. Cause you could use the drums for different. 
it's like it's not like because nowadays these DJs they throw they they take an old Dr. Dre drums yeah and they put mm-hmm. it on some new Afro beat type you feel me because it's like what's the drum and that should be hitting it be hitting Afro too. beats is 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 yeah top rank right now yeah it's it's crazy isn't it crazy how that's on like mainstream radio like it's on the re- like it's mainstream back everywhere. In- Back in like what two thousand, not any time when we were listening, you'll never hear like different. I want to say like, on the radio like that. For real, crazy. they took over. They That's they say they say they say all the record crazy. labels. They say all the record labels going after Afro beats artists. Yeah, now. they I'm they sure. don't want regular rappers no more. I want to say I first heard Afro beats was on SoundCloud. Like, yeah, I, love I think Afro me too. Beats, dog. You know, I think me too. And then that's when I started hearing more commercially. Like, you could hear it on the television. Like, look yeah. at Remo. Look at Remo. That man did numbers, bro. Mm. Ridiculous numbers. Yeah. Remo did them, numbers. All of them artists are going, yeah. they going, like, Burner Boy, where he sold out stadiums and yeah. all, like. Burner Boy charging a million dollars a show. Yeah. And he on tour right now. Burner Boy, a million dollars a show. A million dollars, a million Boy boy's like US future. dollars a show. And he doing world tour right now. So imagine how much money he running up right now. He getting a million dollars every time he start. Ah, Burner Boy is like Afro man. beats of the future, like future Afro beats. Facts. He, he, yeah, he, he, he facts. and I don't even know what Jit be saying for real. But I it's, just be, it's his he be, melody. He be English. <laughs> it, they, 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 they mix it's, it with English and a and a language. You yeah. know, over there in Africa, they got like 3,000 languages, I believe. True. Yeah. They got a lot True. of languages True. over there. And they they all don't speak mm-hmm. the same language. And, it, and it's how they use their tongue. Like, they use the tongue. But if they know English, you know what's so crazy? If they know English, that means they went to school. Because they teach them English in school. That's the main. They learn, they learn school oh, really? through English. They have to learn English first, and they learn school through English. That's how they teach them. So that's how you know the educated Africans because they speak English. Mm. Wow, that's kind of. I'm kinda telling crazy. you. Why you think they speak? Mo- they all speak English and their language. Why you don't notice that? I really love that though. I wish I could speak another language. Mm. I wish I could speak multiple languages. When I get my Actually. passport, when I finally can get my passport next year, I'm definitely gonna t- take a trip to the motherland. I'm that type of dude. I like to take trips like that. I was learn supposed something. to be going. I might be going next year. Oh, and see the pyramid. Man, Man, that's beautiful. I hope so. I hope you do I too. Hope so. I hope you do I too. Hope so. I'm hoping for you. I'm putting that in the air. Really for real, Trey. I want. I want <laughs> I've been I, wanting to go forever. Yeah, you put it in the universe. Like Man, Africa. Why would list. you want to go to Africa? That's like, a bucket list. I would be. So, I feel like I'll get there and cry or something. Cause it's like, damn, I'm in Africa. Like spiritual. It's where I'll you start. Commit. That's when you when you go to Africa. <laughs> that's when you got to do shrooms. <laughs> Man, I don't know about all that. That'd be my first See, time you doing just, You really just lost me right now. Man. That type of stuff scare me. Shrooms It used me. to. It used to. Because I ain't going to lie. I had a homeboy that supposed to did a trip. Don't y'all hallucinate a little bit? It, you have, that's why you have to microdose. I've been studying this shit. I'm going to try. Man. You have to micro. Then they got ayahuasca. You ever heard of ayahuasca? They say when you they say when you go through this trip, right? When you go through this trip, right? You, le- you learn yourself to a divine okay. level. You learn yourself to a divine level. Yeah, you might trip out. You might see a cartoon walk past. Shit like that. You might see some shit like that. But everybody, that doesn't happen to everybody, though. Mm. Everybody has wanna, different. I don't even want to play around and see that shit because I'm going to freak out. That's why you microdose. You never go hard at first. A lot of people, they fuck up because they don't know their limit. That's why you always got to experience with somebody that already done did it. Because they got you microdose. That's basically when you just take a little piece. A little you take bit. a little piece and you just... And you wait to see how much you feel it before you take another little piece. Mm. Wait 30 minutes. Oh, okay, I don't feel it. Let me take another piece. Then that's when you learn your limit. Because, like, okay, oh, now I'm feeling a little bit. Oh, I'm feeling good. Mm. Oh, I ain't going to go no more. I'm going to stay right here. Mm. And it's a natural. <laughs> it's na- exactly. I'm and it's stay a, right and here. It, and it's a natural. It's a natural. It's a natural high. It's not a narcotic. That's what trip yeah. it out. That's why I really want to try because it ain't something that stay in your system. Oh, you've never tried it. No. That's why I'm speaking. Oh, I'm, that's why I'm unbiased. That you never tried exactly. It. That's why I'm unbiased. I'm being unbiased as possible because, like, I'm scared. I don't heard stories about people tripping out doing weird shit, but that's because they overdo it. You can't overdo it. Mm-hmm. You have to microdose until you learn your le- your limit. Then once you start feeling it, you might well stop there for the first time. All right, I feel it. So next time, you know, when you feel it, you can go probably a little harder than that. Like I know I can handle that. Let me go a little harder than that and see if I that you feel me. You then. Once you get to that, that you learn yourself on a divine level. That's what I was told. Mm. And the people that mm. I know that done did it, they're successful people. Mm. They ain't like they some bum niggas. They they like people that's really got shit going. And they told me like when you you really learn yourself on a divine level, you feel me? You really can see your flaws and it it, it disgusts you about it. It make you want to change certain flaws. It make mm. you change certain bad habits. Detox. I'm telling you, 
And then it's a natural high. You ain't, it ain't nothing that's in your system. We stay in your system 30 days. Motherfucking mushroom only stay in your system two days. Two days. You oh, better really? Know. It yeah. only stay in there for two days? I didn't two know days. That. Two days. Two mm. days. Because you ingested it. You ain't inhaling it. You only ingested it. You eating it. It's only mm-hmm. staying in your system two days. It's out of your system in two days. And then on, the, on top of that, I'm going to put another a green light on top of it. Look up mushroom benefits. Mm. Mushroom benefits are very good for the nerve endings inside of your brain. Mm. It helps you have way better blood flow inside of your brain. That's, a, that's distinctly, distinctively what mushrooms do. So all, you all, you get, that's why it makes you trip. Because it, it, it fucks yeah. with your brain, bro. Because it's enhancing. It's enhancing your it's, brain. It's already the mushroom is enhancing the blood flow. Then on top of that, your brain on another level. Mushroom. Your yeah, brain on another bad. level. You feel okay. what I'm saying? So it's like you that's can't. Interesting. I'm telling you, I've been I've been researching this shit because I want to try, but I'm gonna wait to the perfect moment. I'm gonna wait to the perfect moment. I'll be gotta, sc- see, I be scared. Gotta, I be that's scared why you got you can't like you can't be by yourself. You Number eat, one, you can't be by yourself. You gotta eat before you. You gotta eat before you trip. You gotta eat before you trip. You got to eat before you trip. There's all these rules. Don't God, drink. Don't, don't drink no liquor. Only water. Don't do nothing. Yeah, yeah. I won't drink. I won't even smoke. I probably won't even smoke my first trip. Yeah, I won't smoke for real. Because you don't know how it's going to counteract with it. It might make me go to tweaking. Yeah. I don't want I want to have a straight roll. I mean, well, I'm talking roll like it's a bean. I want to I have a straight trip. I want to be able to like, go on a divine <laughs> plane, or astral project. Some people what say the astral project. Bean? Yeah, I used to have it <laughs> I was the bean man. For boy, real. you was looking when you used to do the whole boy, You was looking crap. Hey, you know, you know what's so crazy? You, so small you know what's so crazy? You know what's so crazy? Somebody would have told me this like nine years ago. I would have got defensive. But when I look at my like throwback pictures and shit, I'm like, bro, why nobody ain't never seen nothing to me? I Honestly, feel it didn't even. It didn't look like I don't know. I guess I think because it was the norm because I was doing now. it so long. Yeah. yeah. I was doing it so long, my face was like sunken in. Yeah. I ain't had no real yeah, weight on me. I looked it like crazy, bro. And I was like, and at that time, I used to think I was that nigga, boy. <laughs> I used to think I was that nigga, boy. Like, hey. In that era, you you was. I get, hey, you know, Del- you always hey, Del- look Del- back at yourself and yeah, you Del- be Del- like, damn. Because I look like, I know a lot of women, we look back at ourselves, we be like, I at that point, I thought I was fat. And now I'm really fat. Like, I ain't fat right now, but looking Del- back, not I used fat. to wear I used to wear a size zero. That's crazy to me. You know why? You know why? I'm going to tell you what somebody told me. I'm going to tell you what somebody told me, right? When we kids, we run around for fun. Yeah. When we adults, to, when we adults, we run kids, around for exercise. To. Huh? Yeah. I said us kids. Yeah, fat. Yeah, these kids these don't do kids. shit. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Dang, my son, yeah, I got to force him to go out. The only time my son go outside is when my nephew here. Hmm. That's the only time he go outside. That nigga do not go outside. Well, yeah, MJ. <laughs> MJ gonna have him go outside. MJ ain't standing in the house all day. He ain't doing that. And I love that though. I love when they wandering around the neighborhood just doing what they doing. Do your thing, man. That's how you learn the world. Yeah. That's how you learn the world. On, come on back. Like I said that to say this is what I was saying earlier, like about me knowing how to play piano. I can play drums. I can play I used to play drums at church. Like I'm a jack of all trades, bro. I don't feel like there's nothing I can't do. I cook. I know how to fix some cars. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing I don't feel like nothing I can't do, bro. Drive, Real talk. Drive trucks. Drive, drive trucks. trucks. Another part of my resume. Work the grapple. All right, that ain't, ladies. Work the he's, grapple. He's, he's showing you all he can do. Hey, work the grapple. And now, video editing. I'm getting better and better at that shit, boy. Y'all got to give me props. Real, keep it real. I know when y'all see it, y'all be to, like, you need to have it coming on screen. What can't mop do? That's what needs to come up right now. What can't mop real do? Real talk, <laughs> bro. Hey. It's the hey. Real <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> hey. Hey. You know what's so crazy? But though. you know, I'm going to commend you though because most women going to look at that. You know, we like manly men. Like, you work on cars. Right. You're going to get out there and do the dirty work. You got, right. you know, you got a job. You working. Right. You come home. You could cook. Like, right. honestly, just those three things. I got I I go to work. You. I go to work being the son all day. And I make sure at least four times a week I come home and I cook. Mm. Four times a week I cook. All for real. Four times a lot because I don't even think I do that. I be with but the I make, But I, I do a smart though. I do leftovers. That's what I'm saying. I cook enough to do leftovers. Mm. At least a no, couple I'm nights out of the week. like me, I be cooking like on Sunday. Yeah, I'm going to cook tomorrow. I leftovers to about Thursday. See, I don't but cook that much leftovers. My husband, he don't really he, eat leftovers. But he don't eat like me. 
I, I can eat leftovers all week. Seven I days. think I think that's a Haitian thing. They don't like to eat leftovers. I swear to God, mm. not like that. Like like my my baby my last baby mom. I don't make her doubt. She'll eat leftovers. But like any other Haitian girl I I dealt with, oh I don't eat leftovers. What? I love leftovers. It's always better Especially the second day. Foods like like spaghetti. It's better the second day. I actually rather cook it the Monday and eat it the Tuesday because it's, it's better it's the second better. day. Yeah, it's always certain better the second day. Better facts. Certain ones, not everything, but certain leftovers definitely need the second day. I take I sure. take my dinner to lunch. I take my dinner to lunch to work and all. I Me Tupperware, too. I Tupperware, but mm-hmm. don't I, I don't put the top on it though, so it can get temperature down and need to be. And I don't put the top on it until I put it in my lunchbox in the morning. <laughs> Go to work with it. Go to Seven Eleven. They got the good microwave, the clean ones. <laughs> I go to 7 Eleven. See, bro, being on that road all day, you know, you know the stove that's good. Yeah. Like, if I got to go to yeah. the bathroom, I'm going to prefer 7 Eleven over anything. <laughs> if I got to use the bathroom bad and I can, I know, I know I can't wait to get home, I'm going to 7 Eleven. <laughs> they go, they go, they keep their bathrooms clean. They don't play. And then they don't, they monitor who goes in the bathroom. So they ain't just letting no, like, bases go in the bathroom and shit like that. Bro, y'all seen that shit that, that I just seen? That you can't even use the toilet paper in the bathrooms no more because they got the junkies sticking their needle in there, cleaning their needles. I saw that, but oh. goddamn. I mean, I'm going to use the toilet paper, goddamn. Yeah, yeah, I see. It, it fucked me up. It paper. fucked me up, though, man. It fucked me up. Because, dog, you know what else fucked me up? I can't even take dumps in peace no more. I can't take dumps in peace. Because I seen the video where the lady was tripping when a snake was sitting in her toilet. After I seen that video, oh, that's one of my biggest fears, bro. That is scary to me. I swear to God. Especially so I'm always, Florida for y'all. Facts, like, facts. Yeah. So I'm always getting up, looking in the toilet. I'm always doing that, <laughs> bro. I'm on the third floor, and I still think it's a possibility. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep getting up, looking down, and I'm gonna keep hey. flushing just in case I think it's trying to come up. I'm gonna make it go back down a little bit. <laughs> I swear, a snake. that scares me. And that's my biggest fear. Anywhere. A snake could get anywhere. Yeah, for real. Oh, I don't even want to talk. Oh, I don't want to talk about no snakes. Like snakes. That's my biggest fear. Reptiles in general, but snakes, I just feel like that's the worst type of thing on earth. Period. Like, I don't know. I don't like no snakes. Yeah, I don't like snakes. Ooh, just I think just don't like they move, snake. how they move, how they try to bite. Yeah. Just... Oh, God. Like slithering around and stuff. I hate snakes. I hate them. I hate them. Oh, I hate them. Hey, one thing about it, mm-hmm. though, even when we don't have no guests, we be having good, genuine episodes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Real talk, I was just thinking that like a couple minutes ago. Like, we do, me. we do. But I'm gonna ask y'all something though. I see try to lit up again. Yeah, like, oh, well, I'm trying to get bored right now. Hey, no cap, but what no, y'all No, because I'm trying not to get too fucking drunk, but I am finna take a little shot. I ain't gonna. No, lie. I'm trying to get drunk. I like it. No, I'm, I'm tired of getting. We get drunk every damn Saturday. I, I know, but that shit made me. I sleep so fucking good. That's my only day I get to sleep in too. Oh, you you too. You are Saturday just like me. That's the Tomorrow's only day get to football, sleep. baby. But you still get to sleep in though. Oh. You still get to yeah, sleep I in sleep, like yeah, ten. I still sleep in. I, I, well, I always say, but when 10. I when I leave off of this podcast and drunk, I, I'm wired. I'm wired until I can go to sleep. Me too. I can't just go over there and go. The to first sleep. two, the first two episodes we did though, like the first episode we did, like I told y'all, I was laying on the bed. I still had my jewelry on. I still had my shoes on, laying on top of my blanket. <laughs> Real talk. I don't remember letting nobody out the door, no nothing. I don't remember letting you out the door, trail. I don't remember none of that. Damn. Then the second one with Moss, I was fucked up. I fell asleep right yeah, out here on the I couch. I fell asleep right out here on the couch with the whole set still up. Mm. Lights on and all, bro. Mm. <laughs> Lights on. I got, you know, we got lighting. So you don't, you probably, I know you don't see pictures though, good. But we got lighting. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. second season coming real soon. We got a couple more episodes of second season. And I'm going to turn some things up. I already know how I'm going to change some things up. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. It's definitely going to get way better. I'm changing some things up. Oh, I didn't tell y'all I'm moving. Mm. So, oh, you were telling me you were thinking about it, but I didn't know it was official, so that's official. No, we found, we found a spot. And this is the first time since I've been here. We've been living here for, what, seven years? Or no, six years. Wait, eight, nine, twenty, one, Almost seven. But um, I'm actually going to be living in Atlanta, in the city. Oh, you in the city, city. Okay, so for your, for, as soon as you get your place, I'm going to go ahead and see you a backdrop. Mm. No, I already just started thinking about that, bro. Facts. I already started. I Second said, season, I'm gonna have we got to turn off. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to have a whole backdrop. <laughs> I'm going to have a whole, well, I'm going to give me, my, I'm getting me everything. Like, we lit. We lit for the second season. We lit. Man, I'm telling Shout you. Shout to that. 
Hey, yeah, we gotta take now. Nah, we gotta take. I'll take a shot to that. Yeah. For real. Oh wait, okay. Nah, we gotta take a shot in the second season, man. Right. I got it on my lip. We can talk about sports after this one. All right, let's take a oh, shot. We're gonna take a shot in the second season, man. Lord. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. The grand finale, see, uh, episode 10, I'm probably gonna do some type of giveaway, a hundred dollar giveaway or something. A hundred dollar giveaway, and you need to give away that dot now. I'm gonna do yeah, two giveaways. Then. Asking, I'm gonna do two giveaways. Yeah, I'm gonna do two giveaways then. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two giveaways. And right. I got a, and I got another camera, action camera I can give away. I'm gonna do three giveaways. Early Christmas presents. Yeah, I'm gonna do three giveaways. Oh, that's true. But I keep telling Trey that's way before. That's two weeks, bro. I know, but shit, you know, we're gonna always toast to that. Mm. All right. <laughs> we're gonna toast to season two, man, to be very to prominent. Prominent, um, financially securing. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, no, we gonna toast to that. For real. <laughs> toast. I just keep that. I be thinking about that though. I be like, bro, imagine when we getting paid for this. We can just sit and do three episodes a week, and we getting paid ten thousand dollars a month a piece. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We just making episodes and just vibe. All we gotta do is make three episodes a week. We ain't working or nothing. We just making episodes of content. Come on, man. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I can leave the post office. I got to see the check, but I got to get the money in hand. Fact. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be. <laughs> Trust me. I'm on the same time. And once I know it's in hand for real, we making that for show, for show, every episode. Oh, yeah. We making yeah. it. If they go to say, oh, yeah, we making $5,000 episode, man. I'm like, man, what y'all trying to do? We get $5,000 episode? No, we doing, if we, if we coming like that. For real. I'm trying to be on that bit Monday yeah. through Friday. <laughs> Sleep. The hey, fuck you talking about? Hey. Fuck you mean? Hey, like gonna <laughs> fuck you mean? I'm gonna put that hey. in the sound. I got one question though. How do you feel about special guests who be canceling out last minute? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, that was trash. I, 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 I can put an input in this too, but I'm just saying. Trash. Can I speak on this? Go ahead, please? go ahead, go ahead, ladies first. This I feel. I know things be happening. And I know stuff come up. We all adults. Even stuff with us be coming up. I be texting y'all when maybe I can't do an episode. Maybe we're going to play it by But you ear. tell us ahead it of time. Happens. You and tell you us do. ahead of time. I, I you you are definitely different. You definitely different. You tell us ahead I of time. I don't appreciate because I feel like this is how I feel like if someone cancels on us, you looking at us like, you know how when when you start a business, people are like, oh, you're a little business. Like, I feel like that's how you looking at us. But you see, we might be getting some traction, so it's like, oh yeah, I pull up. It's crazy. Like, nah, it's crazy you just said that. I just told Trav that. Like I say, that. I say, watch when this show take off. All them people that play, we gonna make them late. <laughs> nah, you you want to come on the show now? Now you gotta pay us to come on the show. Yeah, and I ain't gonna for lie. Sure. Everybody that said they lock in with me, uh, lock in with one of y'all, because I'm telling y'all, y'all can get people to lock in with y'all too. Yeah, yeah, I get, I it's no issue. Like I can, I can, I can FaceTime somebody else and have them on the other side of the screen. Yeah, I got a couple people, but they, they real, you know what I'm saying? But I don't like, I'm not fake, and I don't know how to be fake. So when I see like some fly yeah. ass green ass shit, it's like I'm like, mm mm. Yeah. It's the real Cause still I was podcast. I have a whole attitude over here it's today. I ain't gonna cap. I text you, I was irritated. I, I even told my cousin, I said, I'm gonna have a whole ass attitude on the show. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I was not playing. Hey. But the show going smooth, though. <laughs> that. Hey, I be looking forward hey. to the show. I be really looking forward to the show doing the work. I do. I was looking forward to this all day. Mm. I be, I be, bro, after I finished editing, I'd be so bored. I'd be like, that's why I'd be making like full content. Cause I'd be like, mm-hmm. man, I want to do something, bro. That's why I told Travis do it. It's the Real Spill Podcast.